today we're gonna to be talking about our fur babies. This is Lily, and we're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to make it a little easier for them and for you having your fur baby in the truck, whether it's a cat or a dog. Here are some helpful tricks. All right, so first off, we're gonna start in the back, and we have a leash hooked up top there. It's just looped around to the top of the bracket, and it has her harness on it. So here is her harness. And the reason we're using a harness so that when she's on this harness, she doesn't have it around her neck and she cannot potentially choke herself or hang herself on this. And it is right at the edge of the bed, so she cannot reach, you can see she cannot reach past the bed. But we have this on here because we had a very scary situation where Scott was outside of the truck talking and she had spilt a cup of drink on the ground, spilled his Dr. Pepper, and so when he opened the door, his sight was taken to the spilt Dr. Pepper and not to Lily. And Lily decided that she was going to try to jump off into his arms and he did not realize it and she actually fell onto the black top and she, thank goodness, was not hurt. Uh, it was a very scary situation. We thought she had broken her back, but through uh, just a, a miracle of God, she is completely fine and she had no injuries, just some sore muscles. So now when we are hooking our set, unhooking our set, we get in the truck, we're putting everything in for the week, we hook her up to this harness right here and now we know she cannot jump out of the truck. Another helpful thing is her food, the way we have our food stored. So here's her food container, it's just a Tupperware container and you can see there is another Tupperware container in there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and tell you about that. So. Um, we have her dried food in there, and then we also have a little container. It's called Dynavite. You can see, um, I'll go ahead and open that for you. It is a, a like a vitamin type powder that is added to her food. And you can just go on to Dynavite.com uh, and order that. And it's a supplement for your dog. So it just looks like this, and she just gets a scoop of it put on her food uh, every time we feed her. It is good for dry skin, for for hair loss, for itching, and all of those things. So um, that is super helpful for, you know, if your dog sheds a lot, it cuts down on the shedding a lot and it helps keep your truck cleaner. So that is one thing. And then the other thing that is super helpful is her feeder. It is called a neater feeder. And we got this offline as well. You can just go on to Amazon uh, or just type in neater feeder and it'll come right up. But this thing is wonderful. All right, so here is her neater feeder. So the awesome thing about the neater feeder is that it comes apart. You can see there's a drain here and it has this sideboard all the way around it. So as we're get moving right now, as we're going down the road, stuff is not spilling out. So, but the, there's also a catch pan in the bottom. So if it happens to splash out, what it does is it just goes around the side and then comes down here to the drain. And then to addition to that, we have, this is a bathroom floor mat that goes around your toilet and it fits perfect there to catch any crumbs and just have a little extra spill guard. We have taken out our glove box. That's what this hook is and this mount. There was the glove box right here. We took that out and her, her feet bowls, her neater feeder fits perfect right there and that's her little safe place. Now we used to have it in the back of the truck and we found that she didn't like to eat when there wasn't somebody awake. So she likes to eat her food with somebody awake. All right, so in our old truck, we used to keep it underneath the dash or beside the seat. So it was just right down here on the ground or up here in this location um, because there was more room in the Freightliner versus the Volvo in those areas. But we find that it really works best right where the glove box goes in the Volvo. It's not under your feet and you don't have to worry about kicking it or spilling it yourself. Or even she used to spill her water bowl constantly before we got the neater feeder. And that has not happened since we have the neater feeder and have it in this location. So that is really helpful. Now you can see she's back here taking a little nap. So she has a memory foam cushion that she lays on to help absorb some of the shock. And then she also has a fuzzy blanket because Sometimes she likes to just hang out up there. Um, she doesn't like to spend all of the time in the back sleeping in the bed. So she kind of switches and transitions from the passenger seat 
and the bunk area. We have designated the passenger seat just for her for the most part. Now, if one of us is awake and we want to ride a uh, shotgun, we kind of just throw her stuff up in the dash and she just sits on our lap. But you can see she's pretty comfortable, pretty relaxed. And one other thing that we did is we have this little step. Let me just push this side here. All right, so we have this little step because she's a little bit short and with our mattress being so tall, she has trouble getting up in the bed. So there's this step right here. She can hop up here and then she can get underneath this curtain. So when the curtain is closed, she can pull this out and get right up there. Those are our tips and tricks if you have a fur baby riding along with you in the truck. Hopefully this is helpful. I do know that there does make a huge difference whether you get your dog as a puppy and it has learned and grown up in the truck the entire time or like Lily, she was already an adult and then she became a trucker dog. So for her, it's been a little bit tougher to adjust and she does struggle with some anxiety when we're setting the air brakes. Um, she just does not understand the concept of where that loud noise is coming from and then also the wipers. Whenever we first start the windshield wipers, it really scares her. She doesn't understand the process of how they're working. So there is a difference if you want a trucker dog or a trucker cat. I do advise that you try to get a younger pup or kitten so that way they can grow up just learning to be in the truck and it's going to be a safer environment for them as well. So those are our tips and tricks. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, comment below and hopefully we can help you out. So stay along for the adventure and until next time, drive safe. Bye! Give me my dreams.